Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The prosecution today continued its counter-arguments in the appeal hearing for Dancil artist Vibes Cartel and his three co-convicts. Senior Deputy Director of Public Prosecutions Jeremy Taylor was on his feet again telling jurists that the trial judge Lennox Campbell did nothing wrong when he discharged a female juror. Last week, Sean Storm's attorney complained that the entertainer was not in the judge's chamber when the decision to discharge the juror was made, saying this was a breach of his right to a fair trial. But today, Taylor cited a legal authority which suggests that an accused can be excluded from discussions in the judge's chambers on the condition that a court reporter is present. A court reporter was present, which is why we have a transcript of what transpired, Taylor said. Meanwhile, Taylor said the juror was discharged because she had an ethical dilemma. He explained that before the decision to dismiss her was made, the female juror indicated that her son was in custody at the Horizon Adult Remand Center, the same facility where Cartel and his co-convicts, Sean Storm, Andre St. John and Kaira Jones were being housed. He said the woman revealed that during a visit to her son, she and St. John's eyes make four. The woman also said that her son had told her that he was approached by Cartel. According to Taylor, the woman indicated that she had become fearful. As a result, he said Campbell made the decision to discharge her and indicated that he would announce in open court that she was being dismissed for personal reasons. The decision to discharge her was not opposed by anyone, said Taylor, referring to the attorneys for all the men who were present in the judges' chambers. Neither was there any dissenting voice when Mr. Campbell said he would announce in court that she is being discharged for personal reasons, he continued. Taylor continued saying that the judge was not wrong as the ethical dilemma was real. And Mr. Taylor also returned to the controversy of a damning text message lifted from Cartel's phone. Between me and you, a chop a chop up the boy lizard fine fan and dash him away now. As long as we are alive, them can never find him read the Black Bear message which prosecutors said was sent from Cartel's phone. Yeah man, I mince me that, the person responded. Taylor argued that the message shows Cartel's state of mind and that he was aware of the plan to kill Clive Lizard Williams. In fact, I will go further. It constitutes an admission to murder. That is how we are asking you to view this message, Taylor asserted, as he asked the appeal court to leave the entertainer's murder conviction intact. Cartel and his three co-convicts are appealing to have their murder conviction and prison sentences overturned. In 2014, they were found guilty and given lengthy sentences for the 2011 murder of Clive Lizard Williams at a house in Havendale, St. Andrew. Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The appeal court has reserved its decision in the legal challenge filed by popular entertainer Vibes Cartel and his three co-appellants. President of the Court of Appeal, Justice Dennis Morrison, has not given any indication when a ruling will be handed down, but says the case will be given some priority attention.